Very good afternoon, everyone. Tazia, Siawo Hao. Good afternoon, everyone. Selamat tengah hari, saudara, saudari. My name is Shilina. I'm here to share with all of you palm therapy work. My name is Helen. I'm here to learn with all of you palm therapy work. Hi, Shilina. May I know what is palm therapy and how does it work? Thank you, Helen, for your questions. There are a lot of reflex points on the palm and are connected to the inner system. Simply through massage, you're able to invoke blood circulation and lymphatic circulation to strengthen our immune system to keep us strong and healthy. Today, I'm going to use a special word here, the acronym here, special. And this one is with courtesy from Touchline Training UK to help you remember the sequence step by step. So now, I will start with the thing special which I go through with you. S stands for strengthening. P stands for press, lock and go. E is sing. C, channel. I, index and thumb roll, which is like that. That's rolling your coin. Then C, around the wrist. L, like channel. S, swish, fingers and palms. So Helen, are you ready to start a class with you today? Yes, I am. Okay, now we do our stretching. Stretching? Oh no, Helen, <laughs> we don't want to stretch like that. We are going to stretching the palm. So how do you do the finger stretching? Firstly, I'd like you to hold your two hands together, mm -hmm. interlock all your fingers, and flip like a butterfly. Butterfly, to relax all your fingers. Okay, we do it again. Okay. Interlock, interlock, and then flick it like a butterfly. To relax your fingers. And next sequence, I'd like you to put two index fingers together like that. Join. Okay. Got it? Very okay. good. Secondly, the middle finger. Okay. Third, I'd like you to do your fourth finger, followed by your last finger, little fingers, okay. and your big thumb. Yeah. Okay. By stretching, I'd like you to pull your hand apart, go up, and open up like that. Can you see me? Yes. yes. Pull, really pull with all your strength. You feel there's a bit tight and you feel there's a bit uh, painful on your joint, you just collapse, relax and fall back. Okay, we go up again, stretch, really stretch like that. Okay, okay stretch like that. And then you feel, oh, this hurts. How can I relax it? Collapse, breathe out and collapse your fingers. We do it one more time, okay. open up, straight, and out. Okay, really, really, give you a real big push on your fingers, stretching as much as you can. Then you collapse. And I want you to close like a little cocoon. Then open them up. Have a count of five. One, one two, two, three, three four, four five. five. And release. And what happens to your fingers? Loosen up. Yeah, you find that it's not as tight as before. So people who have got joint problems, who got tightness on their fingers, this is a very good way to start your finger exercise. And then next, I'd like you to do the press, lock and go, which is a special P. So what you do is that your index fingers, I want you to lock them together like that. Okay. Can you see me? And I want you to press, press really hard. As you're pressing, you notice that there's some blood that moves on to the tip of a finger. It's yes, now yeah. pinkish in colour. What does it tell? It means that there's circulation that goes to the tip of a finger. People who say that they have numbness on their finger, this is one good exercise to do it. Presses it for a while and then let go. And now I would like you to do your middle fingers, press them together, lock and go. Okay, I'd like you to turn over as well on the other side. Okay, one more time. This side, turn again. Very good. Move and turn, okay? Just hold for a while, right? That's right, hold for a while and then let go. Next is the fourth finger. Okay. I'd like you to do the same sequence, finger and finger lock. Press one, let go. Press two, lock and go. Press three, lock and go. And the last, lock. Go. Lock and go. And now, it comes to a little finger, again, small finger and small finger, interlock, press, do a physical count of three, one, two, three, two, and let three. go. Again, do it again, repeat the sequence. One. Physical count, suddenly, three. 
Yes, very good. One more time. Good. Now you have finished all the four finger. How about your thumb? The thumb, because there's only two joints, it's quite difficult to lock thumb to thumb. So what you do, I like you to have just two fingers together. Okay. Press it against the thumb like that. Press it, lock it and press. Correct. Am I doing correctly? Very good, Helen. Well done. You can point upwards or point downwards. It doesn't matter. Okay. As long as you're comfortable. So we have a count of one, two, two three. three. Let go. Turn it again <laughs> the other side. One, two, three. Let go. Let go. Okay. Do this it. Can do this with the kids. I think it's fun. The kids will enjoy it. Say, one, two, two three. three. Let go and fly away. And then we move on to the okay. other thumb. Okay. okay. Again, two, two fingers. fingers. Press. This way. Yes. One, two, one, three. three. Let, go. Let go. Turn it over. One, two, two three. three. Let, go. Let go. Okay. Another round of pressing. One, one two, two three. three. Let go. Well done. So now, next is E, which stands for easing. Often we realise that we use a lot of mouths. This part of our hands are usually very tired. So we do things called easing. Easing is releasing your tensions on the palm. So we have the, the palm here, both like the one that's near your big, uh, the thumb, and the other one that's near to your finger. So I'd like you to hold this, press, follow me, pressing down, press and squeeze, press and squeeze. Okay, then just press, press, press. For a while, let go. Again, repeat sequence. One, two, two three. three. Let go. Let go. Last chance. One, One two, two, three. three. Let go. Let well go. done. And I want you to lift your hand up. The palm, inner palm facing up. And now this hand over it. Okay. Covering your thumb. Just push your whole thing down as well. Okay. Using a little bit of pressure, not too hard. One, one, two, press, press, three. Go. You say press one, press, press, press two, two, press, press three. three. Well done. All right. So we finish with the left hand. Now I want you to focus on the right hand. The same way, your palm down, hand resting on this side of the palm. Press, 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 press. press. Let go. One more time. Press, press, press. 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 Let go. Let go. Turn it over. This palm here, palm and palm meeting each other. Press, press, press. 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 Let go. Press, 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 press. 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 Let go. So are you following me? The six, the three sequence, which is S, P, E. e. First stand for stretching, followed by press, lock, and go. The third one was easing. Now we come to this thing called channel. These are channel. Channels are there's a little hollow area between the two fingers, this hollow area here. I'd like you to use your finger to catch the tip. Can you see tip catch. here? And then using your thumb and move all the way up to the top, meeting your fingers. We okay. do it again slowly. One, stroke, two, two stroke, three, three stroke. stroke. Got it? And give a gentle press, which is very nice. Next, we move on again to the second finger between between your index and your middle finger, just press it there, hold this way, mm -hmm. and then you glide all the way down. One, One two, 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 three. Three. Yes, very good. Press it. And one more round. One, One two, two, three. three. It doesn't mean that you have to do three times, you can do whatever times you like. You're working with, let's say, little kids and enjoy this movement, you can do it for several times. If some people have aches and pain on this area, you probably just do it once. That's all, depending on your choice. There's no fixed sequence of how many times you need to do it on this part of channeling. So next one, I just hold. You can change your finger if you want to. Instead of using an index finger, now I can use the middle finger. Just press it down. Do it again. One, okay. two, two, and three. three. And leave a little gentle press. We repeat the sequence again. One, two, two three. three. That's good. Now we come into the last, between the last fingers and the four fingers. Okay. Have a stopper out there, stop there, and then we move. One, One stroke two, two, stroke three, three. a gentle press. press. Let go, again. One, One press, two, two three, three, a gentle press, press, and go. Now we work on the left hand, I'd like you to move on to your right hand. Again, same thing, just put a finger, 
at the end of the wedge of your hands, then use your thumb and press one, one two, two, three. three. Give a gentle press. Let go. One, one, two, two three. three. Yes, press. very nice. That's good. Again, second finger, which is the index, and the fourth finger. Sorry, and the middle finger. Press it down. One, one gently, gently two, stroke two, three, three. and press, press and let go. Next one between the middle and the fourth finger. Go on again. One, one two, two, three. A gentle press. Three. Release. Release. Press. Stroke one, down. Stroke twice. Two. Stroke three. a third time. Give a gentle press, press. and let go. Between the small finger and the fourth finger. Move in again. One, stroke one. Two, stroke two. Stroke three. three. Gentle press, let go. Again, one more time. Press one, one stroke two, two three, three, give a gentle press, let, let go. go. And that is called channel. Next, we have this thing called index and thumb roll. This is an index and this is a thumb. And you want it to roll, like you're rolling a coin. See, here we just do it with two hands. Rolling a coin, very interesting, right? Or <laughs> in Korean, it's like, I love you, right? So you just do it. What do you call that? <laughs> Sarangye. Oh, that's interesting. So this is something like that. Okay, now I want you to just roll okay. your thumb this way. Roll upwards. Upwards. Okay, and then I want you to move at the side of the thumb as well. Just gentle roll. And let go. Alright. Second finger. Roll. Slowly, to the end, let go, and then move on to the side. Okay, you can do it this way, like little caterpillar running. Yeah. You can do it very fast with a little kid. And if it's for elderly, I won't suggest that speed. It will just do it very slowly. Gentle. You know, as a person gets older, the skin becomes very dry, and it can be like dragging the skin, which is not very good. If you find the skin is a bit too dry, you can add a bit of oil if you want to, otherwise it's fine. And go with the oil. Okay, move on again. Finger up. And you're going up with the thumb. Your index finger is rolling beneath as well, together, simultaneously. At the side, move out. Slowly. Yes, good job. And then the fourth one, slowly up. Yeah. The last finger, the baby finger, slowly, slowly, up. And this is called index and thumb roll okay. on the left. And I'd like you to repeat the same sequence on your right side. Okay. So again, doing this again, rolling a coin, moving up this way, slowly, side, out. Bring it in. Up here. If you're feeling too tired holding your hand up for too long, you can have a little pillow and rest on it. Okay. Okay, just do it slowly, moving up. Yeah. Now we're doing the four finger. That's right, four finger. Alright, just do it. Next one, we're just rolling up the little finger and the side. And now we've completed the sequence I, which is index and thumb roll. Next, we want you to do A. A is around the wrist. Where's the wrist? This here. Often you find that your wrist is a bit inflexible. So I'd like you to do this, which you're holding a C. Close all your fingers together like that. Hold this on the wrist and I give you a little turn. Rotate, rotation, and you can move, move, really move slowly, move clockwise and anti-clockwise. Okay, we do it again slowly, okay. Helen. Clockwise, slowly move, move this, clockwise, very good, anti-clockwise, very nice. But if there's a pain, 
he was like, why are you holding here and try to move? I thought, oh, I can't move. There was some kind of a lock here. You can't move. There's a pain up there. Don't force it. You just go up and down. Okay. Okay, Gentle. so there's alternative to it. If you can't rotate your wrist, fine. Just go up and down. And move slowly to the side. Slowly like that to the side. Until the pain goes off. Or just hold straight there. If you just hold straight there and you use your the other hand to just rotate the wrist. On the same point? On the same area. Because you can't turn, you see? You okay. can't turn there. You just use your... Just use the other hand and catch okay. your wrist and just rotate it. Okay. okay. So if you want, you can use some oil so okay. it doesn't cause frictions around your wrist. Right. Okay, I repeat again. Clockwise. Yeah, clockwise, <laughs> anti-clockwise. Okay, and you can just go up and down. You know, like waving bye-bye to somebody. Okay. Yeah, very good. Now you have finished off the left hand, I'll let you do the right hand as well. So okay. repeat the same thing, hold it firmly. Hold it firmly, not like that. Not with two fingers, hold it with the whole. Holes. All the fingers, All the fingers. grabs the, 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 the wrist okay. with the thumb. Not so tight, firmly. Firm. Anyway, it's own hand, so you, you decide <laughs> yourself. Okay, you will go squeeze yourself so hard, right? Yeah. If you're doing it on somebody, then you must be very careful. You always check, it's okay, it's the pressure too hard, etc. So okay. I'd like you to turn again slowly. Move, okay, move. Move. Move, and then move clockwise. And clockwise, very good, slowly moving down. There's a little trick here. If you notice that your hand, your wrist is very supple, which means that your waist is also very supple. Ooh. If you've got very tight waist line here, it shows that there's also a strain here. So some people, when they're moving, right, they have got some cracking sound. That's okay. All right, it's okay. But if it hurts, then don't. Stop. Stop. And then you just Maybe go just up. just do the up and down movement. And down, very gently. Up and down. Left and right. Okay, got it? I can just do a flipping. Flipping here. That is around the wrist. And now, next one is also called a channel. But this channel is not this channel on this side. It's on the inner side of your palm. So again, as usual, the same method. You just put one finger at the end of between the web and then use your thumb and goes up straight here. So this one, stroke two, stroke three. And move out. Middle here, stroke one, stroke two, stroke three. Good. Three. Next, stroke one, one two, two, and three. three. Again, between here, one, two, two three. three. Let go. Now you finish your left, go on to your right. One. It doesn't matter whether you start from the small finger or you start from the thumb. It doesn't matter. Okay. You start from which air, whichever you prefer. One, two, two three. three. Move out. Hold on. One, two, two three. three. You can give a little press if you want to. Okay. It's your choice. One, Next. One, two, two three. three. Good job. Next one, which is between your big thumb and your forefinger. One, One, two, two and three. three. Yes, so we have completed the light channel. So I repeat, we have done S, P, E, C, I, A, L. The last one is quite interesting. It's called a swish. Fingers and palm. What is a swish? A swish is sound. And how would you get the sound? I'd like you to just rub your hand very gently. If you rub your hand too hard, you don't get the sound. You don't get a swish sound. You like it very lightly, as light as possible. Literally, just your skin touching the skin. Very light. And hear the sound. Yes. Can you hear the sound? It's yes. very nice sound. It's very comfortable sound. So I want you to start off with the pack of your fingers. Fingers and fingers. Slowly. Get the sound. Get the sound. Kids like it. Sound. As light as possible. And then also your thumb. Go on as well. This is good because this is provoking Micro circulation. What's micro? Micro means very fine circulation within the skin. Okay. So people will say that, oh, my hands are always cold, my hand is pale in colour. By doing this, you're improving your circulation on your fingers and hands. So just do it between all the fingers together. Move on again to this part here, which is below your fingers, this part here, which is a bit, there's a bump up there. Yeah. Okay, up there, you just rub lightly. Okay, and then there's a hollow area here, so I want you to move up like that. Can you see? Move up. Move up. Can you hear the sound? Very nice sound. And then I'll let you close your fingers. Let's close your fingers. Yeah, 
relax your fingers. Okay. Because you do this, it's very difficult. You don't get the sound. Okay. If you must do it very lightly, your fingers must be relaxed. The more you relax your fingers, the louder the sound. Okay? So you see? Notice it? Yes. Can you hear the it's sound? Louder, no? Yeah, but you wrap it hard, you feel the pressure yeah. and it hurts something. Okay. So do it very slightly, lightly. And then here, move on to your side of your heel. This is not the heel, I'm sorry. This is the, the wrist area. This area here, just move on here. Move on again. And then I'd like you to just do it here. Something like washing your hands. Yeah, washing your hands, you do it as well. You do it all the time as well. This is here. The wedge of your fingers, slowly, nicely. And on top of the other hand. The side. Good. This so you have finished the off the whole, yeah, the switching sound. Can you hear the sound? Yes. It's very nice. So you hear the sound here. Now we have gone through again the special words here, which I repeat again. They are all here. You can take a picture if you want to. Stretching, press, lock and go, go. which is P. E stands for easing. C stands for channel. Channel of this between here. Index and thumb roll around the wrist here. Light channel. Swish, fingers and pump. All right, for those, uh, I know rubbing our hands is very nice, but people say, oh, I've got joint aches and pain. I just can't rub my hand. So what can I do? Yes, I have got a lot of tools out here. If you've got very stiff fingers, I want to help you. i give you a little trick how to solve your stiff fingers. I've got this special ball here, which you can buy them from Chinatown. Very easy. Or if it doesn't have this ball, what else can you use as an alternative? You can use a golf ball. Not a ping pong ball because ping pong ball is very light. It doesn't hold. The ball. Can you hear the sound? <laughs> it's very heavy ball, right? You need the weight. Okay. Or you can just buy those big marbles and use it. So I leave it to you to be how innovative he wants to be. So uh, before I start with this ball, I like to okay remember to sanitize your hand. So Helen, I like to sanitize your hand. You. Very important. After you, before you start and before you end, you must always sanitize your hand. Wrap your hand. Okay, wrap your hand in between. Very good. Now use this ball. For the beginning, if you're not used to this ball, you find that it drops easily. So how can you use this? How long would you like to have? Take a set of the ball. <laughs> you can have both on both hands if you want to. Okay. Or you can use it on start with one hand. You can one ball can't work on itself, so you need to have two balls. For a very for beginners, I like you to just put the balls together and you move. Very Ooh, easy. It's a challenge. You move. You move, yes. Yeah, you can't, you just use your hand to help you I turn. Need help. Okay, it's a challenge, I know, is it? Yeah. So you can move clockwise and then anti clockwise. Can you see anti clockwise? Oh, oh. Why is that? Because there's this standardizer which is sticky. So it's quite difficult for me to do anti clockwise. Can you do yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I need help. So the challenge for you right now is that firstly, when you start, the ball has to move together. There's a rhythm. So move together is quite easy. All right. And then, if you are very familiar with this ball here, you find it, do very slowly to strengthen. You see, when I'm rotating the ball, I'm actually stretching out my fingers. So this is a way to exercise your fingers. And if you're beginning to feel that, wow, I can do it so well, I do a lot of round of practice, good, I can stretch <laughs> your ball. I stretch your ball and it move. The ball must be apart. Apart. You don't knock your balls. See, you don't knock your balls, move them apart. Got it? I need help. <laughs> yeah. No, Helen. How to help you? You just <laughs> practice. Practice make makes better. Yes, you just I'll move do in. That. And then you can also go on to your left side and just do it again. Just do it. Move in. Oh, left First side thing. is easier. Left side. Is it easier? For me. Oh, just. okay. Okay, you move clockwise, anti-clockwise. Yeah. Go clockwise, anti-clockwise, you see? Anti-clockwise again. Alright. So I can use the sanitizer again. Uh, to clean the ball. Okay, Alan, can I have? Okay. <laughs> so I show you how to use with both hands. Right. Okay. Wow. Ah. You're good, Shalina. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, it's a bit wet, so I have to rub it. Rub it. Okay, it's still a bit wet, so I can move with both hands. See, wow. it's very nice. So it's a very good form of exercise. And this is very suitable. You can work with youngsters and see how many times you drop the ball. <laughs> so there's a forfeit at the end. Okay, can you do a massage on me? You know, and as it's also very good for elderly, um, elderly at home. We find that oh, you know, they always use kind of like a walking sticks, and the hands get very kind of like stiff. And this is one way to help them exercise and relax all their 
fingers. So you can just get one set of ball for your elderly at home to work on their limbs, to work on their hands, and youngsters as well to play with this ball. Okay? So I hope you enjoy this ball. You can get this ball anywhere from maybe a nearby shop. Check it out. If you don't have this ball, as I mentioned, you can use a golf ball, a used golf ball, or maybe marbles. You can buy from some shops, neighborhood shops, or something which is heavy. Ping pong ball is not a good alternative. All right, okay, uh, if he doesn't have the ball, what can I do to improve? And say, oh, I can't even turn. My hands joints are so painful and it hurts a lot. I can't even turn. There are a lot of people who have got the stiff joints here. Say, oh, I just can't move my hand like that. I can't even bend my fingers. So what can I do? I have another alternative here, which is called a roller. This roller is quite easily available in all the hardware shops. They are used to make jiao zi. Jiao zi, no dumplings. They used to make these dumplings oh, with this as like well. The, yeah. Or maybe roti plata, I'm not sure. <laughs> Something can be used to make a pastry. So what you do is that you put it on a mat which is non-slip and you just roll with your fingers. Can you see it? Rolling up and rolling down. Up and down with the hands as well. Again, or you can have both. But it's good to start with one. One hand. And then when this hand gets tired, you move on to the other hand as well. This is one way to exercise your fingers as well as a palm. And then you can use both on both mm. sides here. Big one. When it's big one, it's much easier for them to handle, especially for elderly folks. If you give them something smaller like a chopsticks or a pencil, you find that it drops off easily. This is very good. You give them the grip, the grip, okay, grip, and then they roll. Very easy. Okay, just do it all. You can do it with both hands. I used to have a bigger one, which I left it on the floor with a non-slip mat, and I roll my foot. It's very nice, very relaxing. So you can use this as well, okay. okay? So Helen, would you like to try? Yes, please. Let me standardize this, okay? Clean it up here. So I need Helen to try and get a little experience. Okay. You would like to standardize your yes, hands, please. Okay. Okay. Just this way, right? Yeah. Close all go. the... Yeah. yeah, go rolling, it's nice. We can have this. I, I kind of like it to play with my grandkids. I get a roller and I can sing along with them. But roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Yeah, yes. just roll and roll and roll and roll. Okay. And then what can do a trick at home is that you can actually roll and then you let go and see who hits the furthest. Okay. So you can have a little prize for them, for the effort. And you know that by rolling your hand, you're improving circulation promoting uh, your blood circulation as well can as I your lymphatic circulation. Yes, we can try. Yeah. And then that will help to build up your immune system so you stay healthy and strong. Thank you. Okay, you can go on to do a massage on the fingers. Okay. You're just moving, concentrating on the palm. I like you to roll. All the way and down. And when you roll onto your fingers, I like you to have a little grip. Hold this. A little curve. Okay. Move on like that. Yeah. Move on. Yes. Yes. Then hold on. Yeah, that's it. Very good. You let it try and then roll on this way. Yes, yes. Between your yeah. thumb. Yeah, that's nice, right? Yeah. But once it reaches the edge of the fingers, you yeah, you can roll all the way, hold it, hold okay. all the way there, hold it, yeah. roll it back. You see, okay. it's fun. One. See. So you can also have a little games you can spend with the little ones at home and then roll and see who can sustain the roll. For how long? <laughs> For how long? <laughs> uh, so the maybe the winner get a little prize. Please, yeah. <laughs> this is encouraged. Then you can just do all this little small activity at home with your kids, uh, with your parents. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Helen. Thank you. I can move this aside. So beside, these are very common tools that you can find at home. And one common tool which I like to use and use a lot in my class are pencils. These are pencils. I've got colourful pencils, so everyone who wants to use and work with pencils can choose their favourite pencils. And it's best to have pencil without the lead, because why it may end up breaking, uh, maybe poking into somebody. So it's best to go without lead. So these are pencils. So these pencils, if it doesn't have pencils at home, what are the alternatives they can use, which I share in my last uh, uh, video? You can use chopsticks. I was talking that you do not use that kind of chopsticks that Korean chopstick, a Japanese chopstick, which is of different size. It's best to use the traditional Chinese chopstick, which has the same the round, one. round one or maybe square one, doesn't matter, which has the same shape, same length. So it's easy to work on it. So you have this pencil, you can just roll. 
Okay, Helen, would you have to pick two pencil? Okay. You can start with one pencil and roll. But you find that using one pencil, some is not fun. And you find that the pressure is not there. So you have two pencil. If you have two pencil, put the two pencils together. What you notice? Sound. You notice there's a lot of sound and can be very irritating. And you say, can you please press a bit, uh, a piece a bit harder? You press so hard that you may end up dropping a pencil on the floor. So it's not nice. So if you want to uh, eliminate the sound, what I can suggest is that you have this thing called pencil. I got rubber band. Mm. You can choose colorful rubber band. Choose then. You can put rubber band. Tie it around the pencil. When you tie rubber bands around the pencil, you tie it not too hard that you can move, not so loose. When it's very loose, right? What will happen? Halfway through, you find that pencil drops, the, the rubber band drops off from the pencil. So not too hard, not too loose. And you can have two sides. Okay, you can have two rubber bands on one pencil. And you can also have three rubber bands on one pencil. Your choice. Okay, it depends on preferences. So with one pencil with a rubber band, now you try. There's a difference in terms of touch texture. Let's say you use this pencil and massage it. You feel this. Yeah, you feel, you feel nice, but you feel that the intensity is not there. So if you want to intensify your touch, you need to add rubber bands. Okay, to add on. I feel that even by rubbing, uh, using rubber band on the pencil, you find the intensity is a bit deep and it doesn't hurt. And you feel that if I want to use a deeper pressure, it doesn't have to use a lot of effort on your part. So now if I have got two pencils, I work with two pencils today. You can choose to work one or two. If you have two pencils, the time of the pencils must not be on the same direction. You can either push one down, one up. Okay. Are you seeing it? Okay, one up, one down, not on the same length. Okay. Okay, one up, one down. Can you see it? Okay. For Helen, she has got three rubber bands on one right. side of the pencil. Mm -hmm. And again, I would like Helen to push it. Two or three? You can have this three. Side. Both okay. three, please. Then you can also make sure that they doesn't have the same, on the same yeah. side. So one high, okay. one low. And then you put them together, together on the palm, and you move. You don't move this rubber band out of the palm area. Because once you move it out of the palm area, you're not getting the effect on your palm. So I like you to move between and hold it. It's between the palm, and you rotate it. Firstly, you find that eh, because the sound has gone away, not as noisy as it using two pencils with a rubber band. You just hold it. See, it's not. Because it, it, there's a cushioning area, that's why you can eliminate the sound. Move it on this way. It's very nice. Roll, roll as you like. You can keep this rubber band, uh, sorry, you can keep this pencil with rubber band <laughs> in your bag. You can massage any time of the day. Yes. You can do it at home or watching television. You can just do it and massage your hand. And you can also do it in the bus as well the pass on the train or while you are talking to somebody you can just do it massage mm. okay massage it so i'd like you to start from fingers move on fingers move on you can put a little cushion here as what well i see here there's a little cushion here why because this table is a bit hard so when you rub on here to the tip of your fingers you find there's a little pressure and the feeling is not very nice you have something here which is padded then you go round up all the way down and go up again up and down why up and down? Because by brushing all the way down, you're able to touch the tip of the finger. That's where the complaint comes in. A lot of you say that I have got a lot of aching area here. There's poor circulation and I've got numbness on my fingers or toes. Alright, so we can just move this on to the tip. Okay, get moving on and move it back. Move it on and move it back on all the fingers. And as for the palm, you just move to the side. It's quite difficult for you to use two pencil. Use one and you roll up this way, one, okay? Because the thumb, the thumb area has a smaller angle, area, small yeah. area that move all the way here. And as usual, you can just do it individually, you can do it individually, as what it did on the other side earlier when you try and do it with the hand. You find that, oh, my, all my joints hurt. What do I do? I use a pencil and move on every part of my finger. Can be the, the inner, outer, side, both sides. Okay, very good. And I can move on the second finger as well. Or the side. Getting it so nice, so easy. So again, these are all arts. So you become an expert using your pencils to massage your hands.
without using without a lot of effort. Such a simple tool. Yeah, yeah very simple. A lot of effort. Yeah, very simple effort. Doesn't require a lot of uh, strength or energy. You know, so matcha has never been so much simpler than that. So you mark massage as well on the little fingers. Start here as well, and we can move on this part here very gently. The middle part. Getting it? Yes. Okay, now you move on to the other hand. Balancing. Other hand. Am I going too fast, Alan? Yes, okay. Just do it, yeah, just do it this way. Okay, oh, if you have a lot... This hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so if you have a lot of, for example, pencil, you can just roll and just move, okay? You can just roll. Just roll. Okay. The side move of up the, the hand. hand here, move back. Very yeah. good. Okay, then you move this side here as well, individual fingers. Okay, that's a bit... Just do it here, just move it here. You need to put your pencil towards the side, side. of your hand. Okay. It's easy for you to roll. If you put it in the middle, it's quite difficult. It yeah. will be awkward, so I like you to move to the side here, and then you roll. Yeah, yeah I see. You can just put the pencil here and roll. Okay. It needs practice. <laughs> you put it here this way. Okay. Yeah, then just roll here. Alright. Yeah. Okay, got it? Yep. Is it easier now? Yes. Then you move again this side here. Yeah, it's quite easy. And then here. You can move here as well, middle, the top. Hmm. Can literally move massage all your the fingers. fingers yeah, yeah, all the fingers. That's all right. the sides of yeah. the fingers. Then again, massage your thumb, the front. Hmm. You're very fast. The back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, am I going too fast? Just do it slowly. Just do it this slowly, slowly. I'm okay. enjoying speeds it. Will, speeds will come in only when you're very familiar Correct. with the, the way you hold your pencils. Yeah. Very good. Okay, just do it. And the palm as well is the best part. The palm here. Okay. My mom liked it very much. And she was asking me if I could make some of this pencil and give it away to a friend. I said, why not? Yep. It's easy. Nice gift. A nice gift. You can just do a lot of these pencils and give away. Yeah. Then just do it here. This part here. The wrist area here, which people have a lot of pain as well. Because of using a lot of mouse. That can help to elevate the pain. Yeah. Moving here, moving here. Good. So I hope you have already learned a few techniques using pencils, using ball to strengthen your fingers, to mobilize your fingers, and also using different rollers like that as well to massage your hand. Hands are very important. Many of times we have forgotten that uh, our hands have served us so many things that we've literally forgot about them. And only when pain comes in, it's, oh, I couldn't leave my hands anymore. So allowing you to massage your palm all the time, which has a little reflexes on the body, on, on this area here, which also affect your internal uh, system. And by building an internal system, it gives you that improving a circulation as well as your lymphatic circulation, and that will make you strong and healthy with our immune system. So, have you picked up? What have you picked up, Helen, from these sessions? I've picked up three things today. Very I've good. Able to learn the. Okay, number one. What have you picked up? Okay. You say you see three things. Yes. Okay. What do you pick up? Number one. I'm able to learn the full hand massage using the acronym specials. Mm -hmm. Shall we go through the word specials again? Okay. Specials about firstly stretching. You stretching. know what stretching is about. Put your hands together. You do your flipping. Remember, fingers locking together, stretch, then if you find your hand very tired, collapse, then stretch again, collapse, okay, then you open up and then shake it out. Okay, next we have the press and lock, which is pressing, logging, turn it over, pressing, logging, then you let go. All the fingers, which I say index with index, middle finger with middle finger, your forefinger with forefinger, Last with last, thumb. You can't do it with the thumb. What do you do with the thumb, Helen? Okay, we use two fingers and then... Oh, you are learning fast. Very good. Excellent. Good. Press it and also repeat on the other side. Yeah. Very good. And then what is next? The easing part, which I show us how we do the easing okay. on the hands. You press one finger here. And oh, 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 easing, easing. Oh, easing. easing. Okay, yes, sorry. Easing. No, here and then you do this way. No, this oh, is no, China. easing. Yes. Okay. Yes. See? Oh, so it's just okay. <laughs> it's all right. You have... Watch earlier, so it's easing, it's just releasing 
the side of your hand, which is just a press. small finger, as well as the thumb. So easing them. Okay. Very good. So this is a good. Then you turn yeah, over. Yeah, easing. Okay, on both hands. Okay. Then do the channeling, which okay. is mm -hmm, the okay, channeling. This one is the correct one. This way. Yes. Do you do, only move on one side? Uh, we d uh, we do the other hand. No, oh, you have to do all side, all the channels. Okay. Yeah. How many channels are there? Let Let's do a physical count. Okay. One channel. One. Two channel, two, three, three, and four. Four, four channel. Mm -hmm. So, do you have five channel here or four channel on the other side of the hand? Four. Ah, that's right. You have five <laughs> channels. So, when you have four channels, you have five fingers, but there's only four channels. So, remember only four channels. So, do on both sides, channel. And then we have this called index and uh, thumb, roll, thumb roll, which is like that, right? Yeah, the rolling <laughs> little, of the yes, coins. Yes, yes, the rolling of the coins. And then how we do it? Okay, you put together and then you just roll it to the yes, end. Yes, very good. And then you do the side. side yeah. Do we do, do on the big thumb only? All we the fingers. All the fingers, excellent. One side of the hand or both of the hand? Both sides. Both sides, yes. There is index and thumb roll. And then around the wrist. Remember thumb around the wrist? How we do it? The letter C mm -hmm. and then you grab it good on job. the wrist yes. and you just turn the, mm -hmm. the Yes. Then what happened to the rest of your hand, your fingers? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, you do a rotation. Rotation to clockwise. Your left, yeah. To your right. Yeah. And then For those who cannot turn, what can you do? What do it just? up and down. Yes. Gently. Up slowly. Down. Side. Side. But bye bye. All right. Excellent. Okay. And then, um, then we have the L, which is a light channel. The L, you saw the L there, which is light channel. How do you do a light channel? Okay, the light channel, you take a finger from here and then you, uh, this finger here, and then you from your wrist, you go all the way lightly. Mm, no, I like to correct that. Okay. Use the finger which is not below, but it's on top. So it's oh, easy. On top, okay. Yeah. If you put below, if like, oh, I can't move, and you can't move, you know, kind of thing. If you put this here, facing. This thumb here is easy for you to move okay, the sequence. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah. But anyway, it, Helen, you've done a good job because it's the <laughs> first time you're doing it. I can see you're working very hard, trying to learn as much as you can, which is really good. So remember, it's not here not, because you've so come from the top. It, oh, how can I move my fingers? So it has yeah. to be coming from the top. Top. Close them, finger this way, lock it, and you go up. Go all that way, yes. and then press at the end. Press. Awesome, awesome. How many channels do we have on Four. the inner palm? Four. Yes. <laughs> Not five. Huh? Okay. And then we have the little one which is a swish. Okay. A swish fingers and palm. Gently, gently. Can you hear the sound? If you rub it very hard, you don't hear the sound. The sound is not so nice. Is it? Swish. Very gentle sound. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Then you do over here, over here. Yeah, very good. And then over here, you go to the depth of it. Mm hmm. And then over here. Yes, excellent. All right, so you have learned the acronym uh, special with all the steps here, which I hope you can follow them. It's very easy. And next, what do you learn, Helen? I know how to use uh, my fingers, my stretching my fingers after my housework and computer work. Ah, that's very important. Stretching. After you finish housework, there are people who, let's say, after Chinese New Year or when there's house spring cleaning or cleaning, they find at the end, my fingers are also sore. I couldn't even leave. So the moment you find there's a tightness on your finger, you can start moving it. Okay, very good. And what is the third movement that you have learned? I can Something use the simple tool like pencil with rubber bands to massage my own hands mm -hmm. and also to do it with my family. Ah, that's good. And what other else, uh, other tools that can be used beside uh, your pencils? If I don't have a pencil, I can run to the kitchen to see whether I have a chopstick that with the <laughs> same round. Yeah, chopsticks, chopsticks. And you yeah. can also use the ball here if you yes, have. Yeah. If this ball is not available, you can try to find some used, marble. used golf ball. Oh, yeah. Golf ball as well as marbles as well. But you must be very careful with marbles because marbles are very hard. hard. And then if you use with marbles, chances are that the first time, you may drop the marbles on the floor. I okay. can, I can, I can you know, predict that. Yeah, I so know. So you better have a mat, yeah, a mat around you so that it, well, the, the, the bubbles doesn't roll down to your, under the chairs and tables. Mm -hmm. So we have that. Very good, Helen. I Thank you. Really, I'm so happy that you enjoyed the sessions and are putting your learning to good use. And if you are interested to know more about the sessions, I'd like you to log on to 1PA SG and learn into it. Now, I'd like to give you a challenge. You know what challenge is that that you have? Mm -hmm. I like to challenge with fingers like that. 
You see, uh, we all move our fingers. So this challenge is to move your fingers like that. Okay, so swimming. You can do this at home, which is um, not a very difficult task, but it's very interesting to put your fingers together. Swimming, fingers, swimming. I want you to do this for a couple of minutes. No, no, it's not like that. Okay, okay. move, out, in, move, out, in again. No, no, do it close it. Just, just move up. This is like a fish swimming, like, like moving up. Very flexible, you know, like a fan. You know, this Chinese dancing, they have this fan thing that just move up and down. Lifting your, the, the vent, just move up and down. Move up and down. So I'd like you to put these two palms together and then you move. Can you see? Not like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody can just do it. It's not that. Yeah. You, you literally do not move your wrist. The re yeah, the wrist of your hand, just put that straight. And you move. Am I doing right? No, you just put your hand, open up your hand, open up, yes, open up, okay. and you move. You can start with this. Can you see? Yeah, this is something very interesting. You can put this challenge uh, with your family members and say, can you just do it? And some of them can do it so fast, so flexible. Mm -hmm. The purpose is that the more flexible you have on your fingers, the less aches and pains that you have. So remember, it's not like that. It doesn't swim like that, not like that. I just want you to move stagnant, straight, and then just move only your Getting fingers. It. I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah. So how would you get in the first place? You have to start with things like that. You ask anyone to start with this is a challenge, a big challenge. Okay. So you start training them at that moving. Yeah, it's very good. And your finger becomes so relaxed. Relax. Move them here. No, oh, those it's moving up and down. Moving up and down again. And just put it here. And then you just move. These fingers here. These fingers here. Okay, this is a very interesting thing, which is very good. It helps you to improve uh, the uh, mobility of your fingers and also helps you to move the mobilities of your palm as well as your wrist, so they're flexible. So once you have found that your hands are flexible and prolonged use of massage on your hand, you find that your hand becomes very soft and supple. Okay. Oh, so nice to touch on this yeah. thing. So you can always use it uh, without anything. You can use it with oil if you want to have a medium. Or you can use it, uh, can wear a little glove mm -hmm. so that you can have this intensity of touch. So it's easy for you to move around and then do it. So these are the tools. I can and see you've got very nice reddish Yeah, colors. you find it your, your, your hands. And people who have got like, uh, some a lot of dead cells at your fingers here, by massaging it frequently, you can also soften all the cuticle around this area here and make your nails grow healthier. All right, this is good. So uh, just go on a little cap on theory because we was doing a lot of practical. Yes. And these sessions that I'm uh, going through with you today, uh, it's not covered in my class. I don't teach this in my class because mm -hmm. I teach in the class is that I'll have a lot of interactions. I find out where the pains and aches are. Then I focus on the aches and pain and show them how to work on the aches and pain. And because there was this uh, virus thing, I couldn't have to like face-to-face -face classes. We have these online classes. It's very difficult for me to show you exactly where the pain are. So the pain that we have are actually tell sign of what is happening to our body. If there's your body is healthy, there's no signal. Okay. You know, just a leaf. How would you know there's a leaf that is spot the alarm? You press the alarm, the alarm will grow. They know that leaf spot. Do not take that leaf. So when you notice that your body or your hands or your legs, you find there are certain sign of like pain, do not ignore this pain. Look okay. at the pain. Where does this pain come from? Why am I having this pain? If you do not pay attention to the pain, the pain condition gets bigger and you affect the other part of the body. So say looking to a pain. For example, I have a pain out here. So how would I do it? For a simple quick uh, cover on the palm is that I always say it's the palm, which is the thumb here, represents your middle head. And these fingers here represent your whole head. head. So this is my left finger, left side of my body, right hand, right side of my finger. You put them together, represents the body. So this represents the head and the neck area. This one covers the internal part of your body, which is here, just mm -hmm. here. And then the back, you know, this is the back of my finger, which also represents the back of the head and the neck. And this one represents the back of your body. Are you getting me? You see, what is the similarity? You notice know, the front area here is soft. So this part is okay. very soft and padded. You will discover here, the this bony is bony. Yeah. Look at the head and the back. Are they bony? Yes. They are bony. And beautiful part is that, you know where are your hair are? 
hair are dead cells, right? Okay. So the hair is uh, grown at the back of the head. You don't have your hair up in front, mm -hmm. it's back. I, that, similar, similarly, uh, seriously, you found that your fingers mm -hmm. are also dead cells. Oh. Dead cells, they grow. And they also happen to be at the tip, which is the head of the head. Are you getting me? Yes. So these are your fingers that are dead cells, and your head also dead cells. And oh. this one falls at the back. The hair is at the back of the head. This one is at the back of a hand. Can you see here? Back, yeah. back. And all these things are called waste matters. Waste matters means they grow, you cut them away. But honestly, we spend a lot of money on our waste matters, right? <laughs> all right, so these are the hands, the bony area. Anything that is bony, you do not use a lot of pressure. Be okay. very gentle with bony area because it hurts. So padded area can use a little bit more pressure. And you find that when you use pressure on the palm here, you find it's very nice. You try here when you do it very, very nice. You can have two pencil, three pencil, you can have a big roller. It's very nice, you just relax. When you are massaging, it comes to your mind is that wow, it's so relaxing. When it's relaxing, you want to close your eyes because mm -hmm. your, your body says, oh, you need to relax. Naturally, you close your eyes. When you do a massage, you don't have your massage eye open. That means you're not relaxing. Naturally, you're like, oh, so nice. You tend to close your eyes and you feel the circulation. You feel the relaxation. Mm -hmm. Then things goes on again. You relax, you close. And whatever is in your mind will just float away. So massage relieve one very important aspect of it that is called your tension. Yeah. All the stress. <laughs> you find you have a lot of stress, you find a lot of tension. Try working with a pencil. One thing, just be like, oh, it's so beautiful. When anything they say so beautiful, your mind, all your negative thoughts and mind will just float away. All right, so do on. So this area here, which is bony area here. When anything that is bony, you do not use a lot of pressure. Be very, very gentle. Do it as gentle as possible. As gentle as possible. Okay, so let's assume say, say you were massaging your hand here and you find, oh, there's a little pain here. Okay, do we ignore the pain or you work on the pain? Anything that you have pain area, you tend to say, oh, I better not touch it. But if it's a pain area, ask, why do I have this pain? What happened to this pain? So you have to address this pain. Mm -hmm. So I often say when there's a pain area, you work on the corresponding area. Okay. It's a bit of theory part. So today you have this pain here which is disturbing me, which I don't like it, and it's affecting my work or expect, affecting my lifestyle. So what you do, I would like you to hold this thing called steel touch. Steel touch. When you have a big pain up there, you do not rub on it because you, you aggravate the pain. You hold it here for a while. Just, uh, just, just hold press. it. For example, there's a pain here, you just hold it for a while. If you hold this thing for a little short, a little longer, you found there's a pul pulsation. You found pop, 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 pulsation. Yes. That means the circulation is trying to reach this area okay. and activate this area. Okay, when you have a pain, what happens? When you have a pain, the whole body constrict. Okay. Constrict means you're holding on to the pain, mm -hmm. not letting go. So by you using the pain area which is constricted, you hold your palm here, then it's a pulsation area, you find that you're able to release the circulation, release the blockage here. And the pulsation means I'm pushing, 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 pushing the blood to this area here. You find that, wow, the pain goes off. Okay. Just do it very gently, like on, lightly for a while, go on and see. Mm. Press until the pain kind of like from a scale of 0 to 10. If the pain is about 10, you just press it here until about 7 or maybe 8. 8 will be good. On. Once the pain has gone to 8, the pain when you press, the pain will not go higher. Okay. The pain will reduce. reduce. Then you do add a bit of oil and you do very gentle stroking. Or you can use a pencil to do very gentle stroking. Gentle stroking is to provoke the circulation and bring a lot of Oxygen. Nutrients and oxygen to this area. Okay. When there's blood, there's oxygen. Yeah. So it's very important. Move. And then you find that pain gradually being reduced. Work until and don't don't stay on and work until you know your, your skin gets bruises and things like that. No. <laughs> when you find that oh it's very pain, stop for a while and come back in a couple of minutes time. Do it, work on it until the pain slows down. Okay. Reduce. Off, reduce and goes off. Okay. This is how you want the pain. So as I mentioned, do not ignore the pain. Look in the pain area and try to do something to help the pain area. Okay, your hands. So don't wait until you say, oh, my fingers cannot move anymore. I've got a lot of participants participant telling me that, oh, you know, I've got these fingers here, which I need to, it's always like that. I need to push it out this way. And that's really bad. Okay. All right, so do not want to do that. Don't allow this thing to happen. So before you recognize this, I'd like you to move. 
Okay, move slowly. Support slowly. Stretch. Stretching is one good way, okay, to relax and pull this. So this is our little tips here. So I hope you really enjoy the program. Thank and you like you it, learn much. something. And remember to make use of what you have learned. There's no point you learning it and not making use of it. It's important for you to make use of what you have using simple tools like that, pencils, or anything you can find at home to massage it. And I like this as well, roller, which you find available in all stores. So with this challenge, and I would like you to have the challenge I've mentioned, so try again how to move this. This is one way to relax all your fingers, your palm as well. So as I mentioned, this one represents your head and your neck. And here is your internal organs. Today we're talking about having um, Build up your immune systems to immune system to to have to, to build up immune systems. You need your blood circulation. You need the oxygen. So this is one way to improve the blood circulation, the flow on this area here. So your hair must always be cold. Warm. Yes, your hair must always be open. If you hold somebody's hand, it's always cold. It's oh, your circulation is a bit sluggish. We like you to increase your blood circulation by rubbing your hands. It's one good way, rubbing mm -hmm. your hands. And by rubbing your hands for a while, even for close two to three minutes, you find the whole body, once it starts off your hand, which is warm, then later on, you find that your whole body, the heat begins to build up all. And then you begin to feel that you're perspiring and heat up. Mm. Enjoy very much, and I hope you enjoy as well. Massage is about not about you. So once you learn this technique, you can also use this massage with the loved one, family members, and all at home. So I will end here. And I end here with this massage here. Can we just do this again, Helen? Just end here with this again. Moving here. And now your hands become so flexible. Put them together. Yes, it moves like a fish. Like a fish, right? And I like to say this. Namaste to all. And goodbye. Thank you, Shalina. Yes, I say goodbye all. Goodbye all. Okay, see you again. Bye.